Hey, it's Andrew from Five Little Ducks Resale. On today's video, we're gonna talk about what has sold out of our eBay store, like we always do, but we're also going to do something different. We're gonna do a 30 minute thrift challenge, and I'll tell you what that's all about coming up. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Andrew, and along with my wife, Jessica, we are full-time online resellers. We focus mainly on eBay, but we do sell on Poshmark and Facebook Marketplace and Mercari as well. Before we get into the details of the thrift challenge, let's go ahead and walk through some things that have sold out of our eBay store over the last few days. First on the list was this Disney Descendants 2 Eevee Halloween costume, which was the top only, size large, 1012. It sold for $12.99 plus shipping. Next up, we had this Stampin' Up! 10-piece Animals and Sayings rubber stamp set, and it sold for a best offer of $7.49 plus shipping. Then we had the Ray-Ban Titanium Hard Shell Case Cell. This went out for $9.99 plus shipping. We had someone come in and buy another high price anime DVD. This was the Full Metal Alchemist Sacred Star of Milos, or Milos, from 2012 three-disc set and it sold for a best offer of $72.99 plus shipping. Another craft sale for the books here. This was the Stampin' Up! Cheers to the Year 12-piece rubber cling mount stamp set. Sold on a 15% sale for $8.49 plus shipping. This next item was probably one of the oldest items in our store. This was the Wilton Elmo Face Cake Pan. It sold for $9.74 plus first class shipping. The next items going out were recently featured in a garage sale haul video. This was the four pack of Debbie Mum Halloween plates. These sold on best offer for $27.99 plus shipping. And it wouldn't be a what sold video if we didn't sell a plush. This was a Thai Beanie Booze. This was Isla the Bulldog. It was a Claire's exclusive and it sold for $7.99 plus shipping. Interestingly enough, another glasses case went out the door. This was also Ray-Bans. These were the black hard shell case with a uh, cleaning cloth, and it ended up selling for $9.99 free ship. Next item was another best offer. This was a women's uh, red rose and rhinestone embroidered black baseball cap. Ended up selling for $8.04 plus shipping. And yet another anime DVD sale. This was the Outlaw Star Complete Six Disc Collection. Ended up selling on best offer for $12.99 plus shipping. And this next item was a quick sale. These were the Keen Commuter Cycling Sandals that I showed in a previous video. This was a best offer of $52 plus shipping. Next was a book. This was Red Harvest by Dashiell Hammett, the 1961 paperback edition, third printing. It ended up selling for $8.49 free shipping. The next item came from the Gina consignment lot. This was a men's large unbranded all black hoodie pullover sweatshirt with pouch pocket and it sold for $12.74 on a 15% off sale, plus shipping. And these cowboy boots were up next. These were the women's very volatile size 7.5 raspy black embroidered cowboy boots. Picked these up at a garage sale for about $5 and ended up selling them for $38.24 on a 15% off sale, plus shipping. This last item was from the last garage sale haul video. This was one of the Guidepost hardcover books. This was the only one that was individual and didn't come with any other in the series. This was The Hidden Gate by Marlene Chase from the Savannah Secret series, and this ended up selling for $4.99 plus shipping. So the other evening, my wife, youngest daughter, and I were all out to eat, and before we went home, my wife wanted to hit a Goodwill. It was getting late in the evening, and I knew Goodwill closed at 7, so I knew we wouldn't have a whole lot of time to shop. By the time we got there, the store was going to close in 30 minutes. So we gave ourselves a thrift challenge to find as many profitable items as we could given the time before the store closed. With this particular store, we always try to take the same route through it. We start in the toys, we go through the hard goods, and then end up going through the clothes and shoes. While we tried to take that same route this time, we ended up having to look much quicker and make choices a lot faster. We couldn't look up every item that we wanted to, so we just kind of had to go on our gut instinct. But what we found, I think that we'll actually do fairly well on. So let's go through each of the items that we found and I'll tell you all about them. We ended up finding three plush items. The first of which was this uh, Peppa Pig plush. Uh, none of these items, by the way, have been processed yet by, by us. We haven't cleaned them or done anything with them. Um, I wanted to save that for the thrift challenge. We sold George 
uh, peg a few days back or a couple weeks back. So I figured it wouldn't hurt to try Peppa. In fact, my, my youngest daughter and I found this one at the exact same time. We both reached for it. Then my wife found this guy. It is looks to be Sleepy Dwarf. So a little plush guy there, still with the tags. He looked, his tag almost appeared vintage, but I think that's just the printing on it. Uh, it looks to be a fairly newer Toy Factory toy. So don't know. Um, we found this guy, this, this is a Build-A-Bear. He's a little dirty, but he is of course full on rainbow. So he'll be fun to try. His tag looks like it has somebody's initials on there, but that should be fine. But he is a little bit dirty, so he'll need a little bit of cleaning before we can deal with him. I found some New Balance shoes. These are 623 series shoes. Looked them up briefly in the store. The comps look good. They're clean. You know, I always like to look on the inside back and the heels back here, make sure those aren't um, rubbed off or anything like that. All the uppers look fairly good. Uh, the soles look really nice. We have these Wilson's Wilson shoes, Rush Pro. I've never heard of these. Did a very brief lookup, uh, which kind of seemed to be kind of all over the place, but on the higher side, which I thought was interesting for a Wilson shoe. I'm used to seeing, you know, Nike, Adidas, you know, some of the higher end shoes. Definitely a little bit dirty there, so I'll have to do some cleaning with these. But uh, nice shape. My wife found these Skechers, these kind of tie-dye slip-ons with the memory foam inside. You know, I don't, I, I don't know. I guess we're just going to have to see. This is all part of the challenge. We did find one piece of clothing. This was an Under Armour hoodie. It has a cool spell out on the back. It says Under Armour. There we go. I don't know if I'll have to wash it first or whatnot. It is a women's, let's see here, women's size. Oh no, it's a youth, youth extra large. So that'll be interesting. It'll change the dynamics a little bit. But I think that's it. We had what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items in our thrift challenge. So given the fact that we only had 30 minutes to shop, we picked up seven items. I was gonna try to keep track of these items throughout the next series of videos and update you on this challenge to see what our potential profit is. Now, I don't have the receipt in front of me, but I wanted to keep track of all of these items separate from how we normally keep track of it to, sh to keep you guys updated on the progress. All in all, we spent this amount of money at Goodwill. So the idea of this challenge is to keep track of these items and over the next series of videos, keep you guys updated on when they sell and how much they sell for, and we'll keep a running total on how much profit we've made. My first goal for bright and early Monday morning is to not only finish up all of our shipping for items that have sold over the weekend, but to get all of these items processed and cleaned and photographed and ready to list. So we definitely have our work cut out for us for these items, but I think it'll be a fun challenge. Definitely tune back in. We'll keep you posted on the progress. If you like this kind of content, definitely like and subscribe. Drop us a note below and let us know if you have any ideas for the channel. Thanks for sticking around and we'll catch you on the next one.